why are we talking about uh, accessory dwelling units here? Because the construction process has become so complicated that people who have never done it before don't really know where to start. So ADU is accessory dwelling unit. We can also call it a backyard cottage, ready unit, uh, in-law unit, secondary house. We are also using terms detached and attached. And you can see that a detached ADU is basically a separate secondary house on the same property where the main house is already uh, built. It might have been a garage previously and people might want to convert this into an ADU. The actual cost of an ADU, I think there's still a lot of folks that are thinking that, you know, you can build them for forty to $50,000 and we all know that's very far from what reality is. There's definitely a demand, a big demand and a need for ADUs. Everybody um, is very, very interested and I agree with Robert though, it, it is a daunting task. Uh, we, we see that on the one hand, homeowners need extra income and that's why they want to build ADUs. And we also see that costs have gone up. If you're familiar with the latest energy laws that changed or the new Title 24 laws or the REACH codes, costs for homeowners for building ADUs have gone up. So they've gone in the wrong direction than where they should be going. It comes down to some extra space to keep friends and family close, you know, rental income or boosting the value of your property. There's an unfortunate math is that you're paying to put a whole house in a small footprint, as you're saying. And what we've found is it's the first three to 400 square feet that are really the most expensive. And then there's a bit of a return. So we, we actually have had a lot of clients come and say, we really want to save a lot of money. We just want to do a 300 square foot ADU. But in truth, you know, a 500 square foot ADU is going to get you a lot more rent and is not going to be an exponential cost increase. There's kind of a sweet spot we've found between our five and 700 square feet ADUs where we're really maximizing, we're able to bring the cost per square foot down a little bit to help it be a little more digestible and then you're getting more rents back. So 800 is a, a very important cutoff point now. Even if you're completely maxed out on your property with the floor area ratio and lot coverage from your main house, you can still add. Ultimately, we do this on a case-by-case -case basis because it's a really big difference if you're drawing the sewer line 100 feet into a backyard, you know, down a 20% grade slope, you know, through a redwood grove versus, you know, just kind of tying up to the existing home on, on something that's closer to the, to, the, to the street. So those things are solvable, but it's like Alex said, it's about identifying those unknown costs so that homeowners, you know, know what to expect. It's, we want to put the placeholder in, so it's, do we have to upgrade the electricity? You know, does the house have a 200 amp panel um, so we can pull the electricity off, or do we need to upgrade that service? Or are we trying to go net zero, and do we want to upgrade to a bigger panel for solar? You know, and that can be around a $3,500 charge for the electrical upgrade. We do everything. Um, we do the permitting, we do the prefab uh, manufacturing, we do the construction, and that we do the tie-in. Um, we do the landscaping around the unit when it's done. We, we, we handle really everything start to finish. We have preset plans and we have an approach to create new plans using a, a set of modular design templates that we've created over time. We always encourage our customers to first start thinking about their budget because what happens is you, you can think and design anything you want. And then you realize that you don't have the budget for it. And that's, that's the key message I want to drive home, which is the smaller the ADU, the higher these fixed costs become. And when you compare these costs, don't compare these dollar per square foot number to a home you may have built or a home your friend may have built. Compare this to an ADU that somebody has built. Now it's a real apples to apples comparison. And I think it's pretty important actually for the economy. And I think ADUs might very well be one of the big pieces that will help our economy rebound if we can get these construction pieces going.